Hi, this is Will Wild, and um, this is going to be a video about uh, how to play draw bands on ultra high notes and uh, ultra low notes as well. Um, so I've had a few questions um, regarding my Wilds tune tops, um, which you can bend all the draw notes on from one through to ten. Um, and a, a lot of people aren't used to playing draw notes as high as this. Um, and they're having a, a bit of trouble with it, so um, this this should help. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is start off just with a standard <coughs> C harp and just go through um, basically what what happens when you bend notes, um, so you can get an understanding of of what we're trying to achieve, um, and then we'll start to take that up uh, extra high and and down extra low as well because the technique changes slightly uh, depending on which note you're bending. So uh, if we start with just the draw, uh, draw two on a, on a C harp, and we're bending it down full step. Um, now I was self-taught and um, bending came very intuitively to me, I never really um, thought about what I was doing. Um, I just thought of it like changing a vowel sound. I'd hear in my head the note I was trying to reach and, and then just think of it as going ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> okay, um, so the ah vowel just gives you a nice open, relaxed um, kind of air uh, channel, if you like, down, down your throat. Um, that's why when you go to the doctors and they want to see the back of your throat, they'll, they'll get you to say ah, because when you say ah, your tongue is dropped um, and the, the back of your throat is, is open. Uh, when we bend, we're going to go to more of a, an ooh sound. And <clears throat> when, you, when you say that ooh vowel, um, what happens is your tongue uh well if this is the front of your tongue it comes back and the and your tongue arches up ah, ah right uh, this looks a bit weird but um if you try and and say ah and switch to an ooh but without moving your lips ah, ah right you'll see that the tongue comes up and the front of it comes back um so that's what you're doing when you bend tip of the tongue comes back, back of the tongue arches up. Um, as we start to get lower, um, you have to exaggerate this more. Um, lower notes require uh, you to create a bigger um, airspace inside your mouth, um, and they require more air. So if we go down to hold one, <laughs> Now, you can try and bend it just by moving the tongue. <laughs> As you get lower, you'll find you need to also drop your jaw down. Um, so you go into more of an or vowel, right? Uh, so if we switch to a, a G harp and play hold one on here. So that's as far as I can go just by pulling the tongue back. You should start to feel a little stretch um, just there. there. There's kind of a thin um, bit of tissue that connects your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. And you pull the tongue all the way back. You should feel a stretch there. And to get the bend to go the, the rest of the way, I then have to drop my jaw down. Okay, uh, let's go a little bit lower. Um, if we go, this is a low F. <clears throat> so I'm really having to exaggerate that pulling back the tongue, dropping down the jaw. Um, I think a low F is about, about as low as I can go. Um, I don't play the low harps too often, um, just because for my style of, of rock playing, they're not really... Um, suitable 
um, that better for kind of rhythmic kind of chord stuff. Um, if you try and play fast, fast kind of um, runs with lots of bends, uh, it sounds a bit woolly because because they require so much air, um, you can't kind of move through the, the bends quickly. <laughs> like you can higher up. Um, so that's that's it with low notes. We want to basically pull the tongue right back, um, drop the jaw down to accommodate the, the really low notes. Um, notes around kind of the middle of the heart, maybe draw four on a C. You don't really need to move your jaw. You only pull the tongue back a little bit. Um, and I'm still thinking ah, uh, ooh, or ah, uh, or, as I do that. When we get to about the draw six on a C harp, um, things start to change slightly. <clears throat> and you'll notice that I'm actually now closing the jaw slightly. And rather than pulling the tongue back, I'm now keeping the tongue forward and just arching it up slightly. Okay. Um, as I said, I was self-taught. I, I kind of did all this intuitively. Um, so when I'm playing, I, I'm not thinking, okay, now I put my tongue here and do... Um, no, I'm just thinking of, of vowel sounds and picturing the note in my head that I'm trying to get to. Um, so if you can do it that way, um, I think it's much more natural to do it that way. Um, but if you're really struggling, then then you can think about it a bit more um, scientifically, you know, a bit more mechanically. So that's the draw six on the C, closing the jaw slightly and just arching the tongue up. So when we get to these really high draw bends, um, like on my tunings, um, let's go to an A. This is an A harp in, in my wild tuning. Uh, so if we go up to this draw nine, so you see I'm again I close in my uh, my mouth And my tongue is coming right up behind my front teeth. Um, and my teeth are almost closed. Um, so I'm actually kind of going to more of an E vowel. I'm still thinking ah, uh, ooh, but my my tongue is positioned more like if I was saying E, right? It's high up against my top uh, my top teeth. And the same with the draw 10. Okay, so we're basically trying to increase the air pressure. So I'm bringing the tongue forward um, and arching the whole tongue up so that the air has to go up. Um, if this is the, the roof of my mouth, hard palate, soft palate, and this is the tongue, this is the front of the tongue. Um, the whole thing is, is coming up. So the air is having to go through this very small channel up here. It's really constricted. Right. So these high bends, um, I much prefer playing high up uh, for playing fast because you need way, way less air than if you were to play bends quickly down down the low end. Um, the low bends take much more volume of air. The high bends take um, more air pressure, but much less volume. So 
all of that's in one breath. Okay, that's how little air I'm actually uh, actually using here. Okay, um, it's it's just about bringing the tongue forward and up <clears throat> to constrict the airflow, so it has to go up, up and over the tongue, <clears throat> and that's what gives you the bend. Uh, so it takes a little while to get used to. Um, again, like I said, the best way, in my opinion, is is just to think of it like changing the vowel sounds. Um, <clears throat> try and almost whistle the the notes that you're going to play. Not whistle, but <clears throat> get them on an, an inhale, <clears throat> and then try and change the sound of it by <clears throat> repositioning the tongue. So again, to summarize the, the really low notes, we're pulling the tongue back, the back of the tongue arches up, um, and if that, if you're pulling it all the way back and you're still not getting all the way down, then you need to drop your jaw as well. <clears throat> and with the really high bends, we're actually closing mouth slightly, as if we were saying an E vowel, E, so our, our tongue is, is sat right up against the top teeth, um, and, and arching the whole tongue up, so that the air is going up and over, creating this constricted airflow. Um, <clears throat> now this is something that, that I've had to kind of research a bit as well. Um, for the purpose of, of teaching more than anything else. Um, and I found some good, uh, some good information about this on one of David Barrett's videos. So um, go and check out David Barrett's video about bending. Um, I also noticed just the other day, uh, Ronnie Shellist posted a video about um, bending on the higher key harps. So take a look at that, see what he has to say about it too. And, um, Hopefully you'll find uh, <clears throat> find that between the three of us, uh, someone will, will say something that will uh, will help you with this. Um, my name's Will Wild. Hope you found this helpful. Um, I am available for Skype lessons if you're interested in in doing a one to one with me. Uh, just send me a message through the contact form on my website. Uh, my Wild Tune Harps are also available to buy on there. <laughs> And I'll see you soon. Cheers.